Hey guys, good morning and welcome back to Burner Brother Antiques. Today, a coffee talk right here in the living room. All right, we're on. What are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> it's coffee it's talk. Coffee talk. Well, we got what we should talk good. about. <laughs> Jacob's getting ready to be a bachelor for a week here, right? Oh, yeah. a bachelor all week. I True. Yeah. It's the worst. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you used to think it's a lot of fun. All right. Now you're like, who's who's yeah. cooking and cleaning and helping me out with all the stuff I got to do the daily chores? You don't realize how lonely you get, right? No, Sit there like, yeah. be on the phone well, calling. Do a lot no, you know what he's going to do. He's going to have 55 whatnots between now and Friday. <laughs> That's, I say, Josh, you and I are going to be the ones going, when you come home? We're going to we're gonna pay for your ticket. Get home. Yeah. <laughs> Just come home now. We're tired of working. <laughs> no, it's good. There's, uh, I think it's something that we could do this morning is, uh, you know, there were some comments on the, over the last week on YouTube, uh, questions and things that we couldn't really answer. You know, just like type in a quick answer. I thought maybe we could use this time to cover some of those. Uh, one of these, maybe I'll throw on your way, Josh, is um, I got people that have texted me, where's a good campground to come to if you're going to the Heart of Ohio Antique Center? Buck Creek. Buck Creek State Park? Yeah, Buck Creek State Park. It, it's nice. Um, limited, but it is really nice. I know the people that actually run it. Um, Ex-law enforcement. Yeah. yeah retired they, they deputy. Take good uh, care of it. Oh, it's real nice. It's got a little camp store, but it's also got a marina, uh, bait shops. I do some fishing. It's got a little beach. So it's actually a really fun little place to go and stay. Um, well, park rangers are there. Can so, any size camper fit? or what? Is there any and I know that? that they have, I think they have pull-through sites and regular sites but i think right. they can and, uh, they can accommodate pretty much anything yeah actually they have tent sites so yeah you can set up your tent. now jimmy if i remember right don't they still have the cabins back there they do have the cabins back there so yep. you don't have to have a camper you can rent a cabin no you, you can rent, rent a, a cabin. cabin yeah now those rent out they're almost always rented so, so buck creek <laughs> state park <laughs> plan plan it out yeah. <laughs> and, and what is buck creek from the from the antique center 10 minutes yeah, if that. Maybe yeah, less than 10 minutes, 7, close. 8, 10 minute drive. Yep, C.J. Brown Reservoir. C.J. Brown Reservoir. Then what about the campgrounds up the street from us? Do you know the name yeah. of that one? Was that Tomorrow Stars? I think it is. It's called Tomorrow yeah, Stars. I think it's it called, is. no, I don't know if they have I don't, yeah. weekend or if they're a, I don't know either. I don't know anything about them, but there is one up there. You may be able to get in there for a night, but I know a lot of people that camp up there, they camp like every weekend. They're oh, like, it's a seasonal Yeah, thing. they're like a uh, seasonal okay. Okay. campground. So, so but they Buck may Creek, have pull-ins. Buck Creek does a great option, and it's, it's a big reservoir, and that reservoir is like, it's it's massive. Right? Yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a yeah. big lake right there. Yeah, if you did do fishing yeah. while you're here, they, I mean, there's places to fish up there right off the piers and docks. Jimmy, what did they stock in there um, a few years back? Oh, there's saw guy in there. Saw guy. No, yeah. not saw guy. They stocked him in at Caesars Creek years ago, and they put him in the reservoir. Oh, I don't know. Well, I, I can no. Yeah. There's walleye there's in there. Walleye saw in guy. Saw there's guy. all kinds of great fish, but there's a big fish that they put. Yeah, in. I it's cannot a, think of the name of it. So here's another question for it's us. Deep um, enough to hold it. And yeah. This this question came in fishing. from from the video of Jimmy where we were at the hoarder house. Yeah. Uh, did you buy the house or did you just empty it out? He <laughs> <laughs> just emptied it with the so, dust. <laughs> so we, we I, you know, we were talking about that. We wish we would have taken a jar of the dust because yes. I think we we'd have had fun with it and we'd have sold it. Um, you never know what's in back. that jar of dust. Man. <laughs> it might have got in trouble. <laughs> well, what's when it said from? old dust, new dust, older dust, I was like, who's it dust? Really said that yeah, oh yeah, on the jars. Oh so, I wasn't on that call with Yeah, him. Josh didn't go with us on that one, but I tried to take the dust. We weren't big, so that's the <laughs> So, so uh, the, the, we did not buy that house. Um, we work with a gentleman that gets into a lot of situations where people have already either passed on or they moved into a different facility or something. And so there was nobody living in that house when we went in it. Um, and right. we, we always try and be very protective of personal identity. Right. And, you know, we don't, we don't want to ever make someone look bad or anything like that. When we go into those houses, uh, we feel like it's an adventure to take you guys with us. Um, and we always try and do it with a lot of respect. It's, um, and everybody lives differently. I mean, I, you know, I don't, I don't judge how people live or, or not or whatever, but we, we just try and do it with respect. We, we had, uh, we, what we bought was one van load of merchandise um, off of the, the gentleman that we work with. And, uh, you know, he had the deal worked out. We, we work with, uh, we work with a lot of different people in a lot of different situations and that one, uh, what the situation was when we, we could go in and take what we could put in our van. Yep. Um, and we got one trip. 
and then they had somebody else lined up next after us to come back in and do, do I don't know if it's similar or what they do next, but uh, that's that's where we were with it. Yeah, it was good. It was it was a lot. It was neat, and it's it's those are so much fun though because I, I, to be honest with you, I'm like I I like going through those places. <laughs> you, you never know what you're gonna find. There's a bunch <laughs> of fishing gear in there. Jim. Yeah, there was. I did see that <laughs> bunch of fishing gear, and, and and it's neat though. And what it does is also lets you see people's lives. I mean, even though you think, oh my gosh, that looks like a hoarder. That's their stuff. That's what they did, yeah. and you can go through it and see through their lives. I mean, that took many years to do i mean yeah that doesn't happen do, overnight they didn't do that overnight no so overnight. here's here's the next question for us uh, why do you get so upset when there's no price on an item in this old bins <laughs> but we really i don't really get upset but uh, if you see it on video if i'm filming and, and there's an item that we, where there's no price or no sticker on and it was brought up front that becomes um a very intensive time um, amount of time for us to figure out who owns that item. So we have to go back into the video surveillance system and have someone watch that item being carried up and follow it back to the booth it came out of to figure out the ownership. And so when there's an item brought up with no sticker on it and no identity brought on it and it's set up there, now we, we have the responsibility of trying to figure out who actually owns it. And so when I see that item with no, no sticker on it, I think, oh, that just cost us a uh, you know, a couple hours work to figure out who owns that, um, if we can. And a lot of times you, you you don't know where it came up at. It was in a it was in a tub of stuff, and you don't know who brought it in, and you're rewinding it, and then. Uh, well, a lot of times our customers though do notice that it doesn't have a, a sticker, and they'll let one of our floor workers know. Yeah. When that happens, it's a lot easier because we know what booth it came out of. When we know what booth it came out of, the process is really short. Sure. Then simple we can call right the here. the owner and say, "Hey, this didn't have a, a sticker on it." Yeah, because so, people, uh, believe it or not, there might be hundreds of items in that booth, but those dealers know when one's gone. Yeah. <laughs> they, they do. Think about it. I, the same way. I mean, yeah, you know your are, stuff. Yeah. You know your stuff. That's how, that's how intense they are, though, of taking care of their booths yeah. and knowing what they got. So here's another question. It says, what does the watermelon crawl with a shot glass mean? Jimmy, that's on you. <laughs> that's one for you, having bud. Fun. That's a, he that's was just having, having a good fun. time. That's an old... Uh, that's an old country song, the, the watermelon crawl. If you, so if you didn't watch our live whatnot sale, during our whatnot sale, uh, Jimmy actually uh, did a watermelon crawl with a shot glass in hand. Correct. Yeah, it's, it's an old, uh, back in the 90s, who sang that song? I, I, drink, I don't, don't know. drive, do, do the, the watermelon, watermelon crawl. crawl. I don't know, but our niece is getting married in, what, a week? Yes. Yeah. All those girls were up there practicing the watermelon crawl. I guess there's a, a line dance. Oh, there's dance. There really a yeah, line, there's a line dance, dance that goes with it. So. Yeah, there was. When, yeah. Back then, there was a line dance to the so, watermelon crawl. Okay. So, yeah. But yeah, well, I had the shirt on, and I thought, you know what? <laughs> time to do uh, it. It's time to bring it back. <laughs> Someone asked uh, the hoarder house we were in if there was a gun cabinet. Uh, we don't know. We did not have any guns there. Uh, we didn't see any guns. Um, and we didn't buy any guns, so don't don't really know if there was or not. Uh, maybe there was, and that could have happened before we actually got onto the call. Uh, maybe there was some there. There was evidence that there was something there with firearms, but again, we uh, we didn't get any of those. Um, there's the campground question already. There was two of those actually. That's the second one. Which is those are good questions. There's because questions. people come and want to know, um, you know, where do I stay close? I mean, they don't stay in a hotel. Campground's an awesome yeah. way to go. And Airbnbs in the area, those are awesome way to go. Let me see if I can find some more <clears> questions. I, what I do, how do I how do I know I got questions is I as I try and like every day, every comment, and then the ones I don't like, I try and answer back on video. He really does like them. <laughs> but he leaves them blank <laughs> so, that, so that he knows that that's why like I need that to get back. I like that question. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's what I mean. <laughs> so if I, don't, if I don't mark it with the like back, then it stays uh, where, where it's really easy just to flip through them all and see which ones I haven't re replied with a thumbs up back to. That's what I mean when I don't like it. Right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Here's a question so I didn't answer. Uh, it says, a word for a group of frogs is known as a knot. They can also be called an army. It's scary, right? Yeah, I guess that is scary. <laughs> An, <laughs> An army, army of frogs. Army of frogs. <laughs> Sounds biblical, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. Well, the other night um, you, you were selling the butterflies, and people were wanting to know. We were trying to figure out what the the flock or whatever. Yeah, they call it was, yeah. I, Shannon, she was actually. We were looking it up, and I think it was kaleidoscope. A kaleidoscope of yes, kaleidoscope of butterflies. I yeah. thought a kaleidoscope from the things you looked at. That's what I thought. I thought well, maybe that's why it's because they look like you butterflies the... when you see all the colors through the kaleidoscope. Hmm. 
But yeah, that was kind of neat though. People, I, I think quarter shirts. Neat. That's interesting. So here's, <laughs> that's, that's interesting. <laughs> yeah. So here's another question for you: Do you have a shelter when tornadoes come by? Uh, do you have a shelter when tornadoes come by? If they do, question mark. Uh, so I I'm mean, assuming I'm, they're meaning at the heart. If you're meaning at the heart, we have our uh, bathrooms, bathrooms, the designated area, yeah, right? The block, block walls. walls. Yeah. And we've done that um, before. We not not very often. I think it's maybe two times in the history of the antique center where there, we had this shelter in, uh, you know, with warnings that came straight up, um, and they've taken everybody into the bathrooms because the tornado was close. But it seems like the tornadoes this this season have been oh off the charts. Gosh. Yeah, it's been right down our alley. Yeah. yeah. They, well, they were talking about it even on the news. We were watching the, like something last year. There was fifty eight tornadoes. In Ohio for the year, and there have already been that many in March and April. Yeah, so it, it was yeah, there's destructive a too. I mean, usually yeah. you'll hear of one touching down, and it's literally a a touchdown and right, no issue. You kind of see it maybe a few trees down Out the field, or man, woods. they've been hitting houses and yeah, they've communities been, and. But hopefully that uh, hopefully that. We, that's over. Hopefully, yeah. it's over. <laughs> no like more, please. No more. We've had our share. Well, okay. the rain's actually hit. Right? Like you can see, the fields are playing. Oh so, yeah. I mean, everybody's been getting in the fields. So, so here's the next question for us: When, when are you going to have a day to shop the shop? Uh, sh the show showcases live and have the audience buy on the spot. We are working on that. Um, we're, we are uh, we are we are pursuing that, but it's gonna it's gonna be a little while still. It'll probably be late fall before we are ready for that. Um, it's That's not as easy. Well, if there's a lot, there's a lot of little things behind the scenes that you wouldn't understand. Okay. You may not look at that. Why? Like, well, why can't we just buy this? What so, time are you leaving? Um, <laughs> my wife's here. <laughs> We're live. Come on over, Silica. Say bye to everybody. <laughs> We, right, we're, this is who we're talking about. That's why we Jacob's were just saying be... how much he was going to miss you. <laughs> <laughs> true. So Jacob's going to be lost for a week. That's probably true. <laughs> wandering around selling things. You're going to come back to an empty house. He's going to want not everything in your house. There's not a whole lot in here that he could possibly want. Well, that's yeah. what you think. <laughs> You're buying the silverware. <laughs> We could go live right now and just start. <laughs> start with your luggage. <laughs> Selling her airplane tickets. <laughs> you lost your shirt? Yeah, You're wearing I one. Coffee talk. You never know what's going to happen here, guys. Okay, let's get back to the question at hand. Um, <laughs> We are going to do a, a shop the shop live. Uh, we're working towards that uh, again. Um, there's a, there's there's a lot of logistical stuff when it, uh, when it's not stuff that we already own that's in the uh, that's ours in the back. So um, we're working through that. We are going to bring that to our to the forefront for our vendors and for you guys both. Uh, so hopefully this fall you'll start seeing some of those. Um, okay, here was a here was a comment I thought was really cool. Um, I bought two bags of jewelry at Goodwill today and spent about two hours untangling about half of one bag. That's a that's a comment I didn't like earlier, but I was thinking about uh, commenting about that live with you guys because we sell so much bulk jewelry, and I know when you guys get it, uh, a lot of times it'll come tangled up, and it takes some time to untangle. Uh, we apologize about that, but that's just the way it is. It? It's hilarious when you say it's a comment I didn't like. He liked the comment. <laughs> I liked it. Yeah, like I said, I, he liked the comment, but I got he it. didn't like it, meaning that he didn't check it so he knows when he scrolls through, he sees, oh, I, that's let me the show one you what I wanted. Let me show you what we're talking about here. So this this comment, when it has the little thumbs up, uh, where's the screen at? So, see how it doesn't have a thumbs up on it yet, the comment? Now I'm going to hit it with the like button. Now I liked it. See now, now it's got the thumbs up. That means I don't, uh, I don't need to go back through and scroll and find it. So I'm only looking for the unliked pieces so far. I apologize, my wording sometimes. But see, sometimes that's where people in life actually need to understand that sometimes when you hear things, it doesn't always mean what you think it does. Oh, Jimmy, that's why. <laughs> so many times, him and I both talked about it. Instead of texting somebody, we'll call them yeah. because we don't want it misconstrued. Right. Because you you're hear saying it. something in one, and you're you're yeah. thinking it and meaning it one way, and somebody reads it and they're like, "What was that? <laughs> yeah, why did you like, say no, it like I that didn't for? It that way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's no, for fun. sure. Jimmy, I get I get a lot of comments about um, 
There's another campground comment. Another, a lot of comments. Let me like that. I'm gonna like that one now. You can like it. I can like yeah, that I'll one like now. That. That I just looked up. Like, like, twinsies. <laughs> I know. What? We didn't even call each other, did we? Thorn between two roses. <laughs> what are you here. thinking, Jacob? Yeah, yeah. I didn't get the heck? memo. We should have called him. You should have called me. He's the, hey, here's the thing though, Josh. We're always on the same yeah. wave. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes to a fault. Well, Jacob just gotta catch up. <laughs> How many brothers? How many brothers does your dad have? There's a question. Does he got five? Well, the other there was, in well, including all of them, there used there was nine risen. Then there was, um, but one Leroy they had lost at birth, and then there Leroy. was eight. But brothers, it's Rich, George, Dave, yeah, and Dad. This is a complicated five. math problem for the Burner Brothers right now. <laughs> Six, seven, eight. Yeah, Dave there was five. Five Henry, boys and dad. three girls. Yep. And Clara, Rich, and Will. Clara. Yeah. Daniel, Henry, Dad. So that means you'd have four brothers. George. He Rich. has four brothers. There's five of them. <clears throat> more than That's that. correct. Now, see, sometimes you think, well, why wouldn't they know that? We start getting into the family. It, there's, it goes way, there's all kinds of people everywhere. So, but yeah, he's got four, four brothers. There's five three. boys and three girls. Yep. Big family, and now not only that, my dad, my dad has a ton Rich, of cousins. George, Dave, Henry, Daniel. That's five. Five brothers. Yeah, not four. plus five dad. brothers. Plus dad. Five, blo five yeah. brothers plus dad. Five brothers plus, plus six dad. boys. Six, six boys. boys. Yeah, and, and then Leroy then, uh, didn't make it. Right. Birth. Leroy was at birth, and then Claire and Pat. Yeah. And then Claire and Pat. Big family, and they got a lot of cousins. <laughs> I mean, so we got in this in general area in like a 30 mile radius, there is a bunch of burners around here. Uh, and there still is, there's tons of cousins. Yeah, so the, the final answer we're gonna go with is. <laughs> <laughs> this complicated math problem five. we're in the middle of right now. <laughs> the same way that we do our counting. How much do you want for that? <laughs> yeah, that's. That's why Silk is in charge. Of, Take that's why we're going to miss her so much. She's in charge of all this accounting stuff. Oh. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, so that there's there's the question from the last seven days. Um, if your question is older than seven days and I haven't answered yet, I do apologize. And uh, again, when I when I when I like when I hit the thumbs up button, that's what I'm talking about. I mean, like or dislike or what not like. <laughs> what I try and do is just leave them open so that when we do these coffee talks or I'm doing a video, I try and scroll through and find uh, find something that I can. So I've got somebody that keeps asking for me to uh, shoot amethyst glass. Um, so I'm going to get to that eventually. But yeah, uh, coffee talk here. I don't know anything else, guys, coming up this week. Well, well Josh missed last week, but he was had stuff going on. What you had scout at the. Your, your daughter in, in Columbus won yeah. some great awards. Yeah. She went to the state FFA convention. She got her state degree in FFA. So yeah. it's really a big deal for her. And all kinds of success with that. But her pig died yesterday. I know. So uh, she no. was pretty sad. Yeah, we, her fair project. Yeah, her fair project. <sighs> but but the, the breeder's helping us out and going to allow her to show another pig. So. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That's, that's really nice. So, so, the, so we got uh, two of your kids are graduating this year, mm -hmm. high school. Um, who just got engaged yesterday? Kenley. Oh, Kenley. Yeah, Kinley. that's Saturday. another in Jason. Jason's, Jason's, another Jason's daughter just yep. got engaged. Uh, yeah, just lots happening all around. Right. Then we have an, uh, his other daughter's getting married uh, mm -hmm. in, in a week. In a week. That's his third daughter getting married in like within a year. Mm -hmm. Whew. Yeah. So the, 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 <laughs> the steps of life, they're like, I've got two, my twins are graduating high school and then my youngest is stepping into high school. Yeah. So yeah. it's just. That's, that's awesome though. It's fun. Yeah, good times. It's all good. Hey, let's talk a little Push bit about uh, antiquing coming up. Extravaganza is, this is extravaganza week. Um, so extravaganza this weekend. So if you're not familiar, I get a lot of questions. What, what is an extravaganza? So what, what's going on is there's about 2,000 vendors, antique dealers, setting up at the fairgrounds, which is one exit from the Heart of Ohio Antique Center. Uh, I'm going to do an interview with the owners of the fair of, of the, the antique show, the Springfield uh, Antique Show and Flea Market. Hopefully today or tomorrow, I'm going to do an interview and we'll post that right away. But uh, one, twice a year, they have an extra large show called Extravaganza. The extravaganza, literally, there's going to be twenty or 30,000 people that come through uh, Springfield people buying antiques from everywhere. this weekend. Uh, it's massive. 
uh, the heart of Ohio every year. Like this is uh, one of our top weekends. Um, you know, the whole for, week it's fun because the dealers start right now. Like yeah, today. today oh yeah, today. Start. Extravaganza yeah. week starts today. <laughs> the you dealers, think it's extravaganza yeah. already because the amount of dealers that are in yeah. restocking, restocking booths, booths and, <laughs> and picking too. I mean, they're doing everything, but. It's fun. It, yeah. Today it starts. <laughs> Luke, jump in here and say hi, bub. Hey, everyone. <laughs> he didn't quite get the right shirt, but it's, yeah, but it's close. close. It's, it's, he's close. Got the it's a little shirt. closer than you did. <laughs> They're making fun of me. They said I got the wrong shirt on today, Luke. I don't yes. know what happened. He didn't right get the hat, though. I got the hat. He, got right he was close on the hat, too. He was close on the hat, too. And the, so the extravaganza, it's guys, so is it opens up Friday, Saturday, Sunday, a three-day show. See you later, bud. We'll see you later. I passed Mammal. She was already heading in, just saying. Mammals, mammals go beat you to work. <laughs> <laughs> hey, take that box of uh, sold jewelry with you. All right. Uh, yeah, so Extravaganza is coming up this weekend. Up these days. <laughs> uh, Friday, us. Saturday, Sunday, and there's different prices for different packages. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know all the details, but we're, the interview I do with uh, Jenkins, they will be able to share that with you. Um, and that's coming up this coming weekend. We invite you guys come come to Extravaganza, go to Springfield show, come to the Heart um, with with our thousand plus booths and showcases, uh, and you got two thousand vendors there. And there's the other antique center up the street. You're gonna you're gonna experience three or four thousand uh, vendors with antiques for sale in one town, uh, and that's oh, yeah. that's this weekend. It's gonna be pretty epic. It's gonna be cool. All right, so something new we got going on at the Heart. Oh yeah, let's talk about the percentage. Yeah, we are offering. Uh, and this is this happened this month. A lot month. of dealers have been jumping on and doing this. So we we have offered um, the for for the first time ever at the Heart of Ohio Antique Center. Our dealers can now actually give discounts per booth. So if my booth number is uh, ninety seven hundred, which is BAC, that's mine and Josh's stuff ninety seven hundred. Uh, we actually are doing a special for this week, and any vendor can do this. We can, you can name the discount that you're allowing for your customers to have and for the period of when they can have it. Um, so we are publishing discounts by individual booths throughout the Antique Center of all the dealers that are stepping up and asking for discounts. It's, it's managed through the office. Uh, and what that means is you go into a booth, you're going to see a sign that says this booth allows 20% uh, off today or 30% off today. A couple of our dealers are going 30 off. Uh, for this week, extravaganza week. Uh, that's that's us too. Josh didn't know about it. He, I looked at our <laughs> I looked at our sales and I was like, Jacob, they're ringing this up. Something's wrong. going on. Something up there. went awry. <laughs> <laughs> I said, Yeah, Janet and I talked about it. We decided to try this discount out and see how it I'm works. Glad they let me know. <laughs> this stuff. What the heck? All right. <laughs> um, some things this week that we won't let him know about. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, that happens we'll every week. Back. A couple more <laughs> items on the uh, what Wednesday sale. Yeah. <laughs> So if you're coming to the Antique Center and you see one of those signs, uh, there's, they're going to say Heart of Ohio, this booth uh, discount, and it'll have the percentage off. When you take the item up to the register, the computer automatically will, will discount that item for you. Uh, pretty special. Uh, yeah, a lot of the customers yesterday, they were asking, well, this said it was this amount off, and it, they, it's not on the sticker or anything, but when they ring it in, yeah. it comes off, and then you'll see it on your yeah. receipt. So we're expecting a lot, a lot of customers coming through, and a lot of our dealers are choosing this weekend or uh, this week. To, to get those discounts offered uh, or this month. So if you if you haven't been out to the heart for a while, or even if you have been out, you might find an item that's marked 20 or 30% off uh, of whatever originally it said. Uh, so come check that out. That's a new thing that we've just started. And uh, we, hopefully it works well. Uh, this is a, a lot of a people new, are excited about it. A lot oh, of our yeah. dealers are very excited. The customers are happy. Um, we're just trying different things, you know, uh, d different mindsets, different times. and. Uh, well, I had one one of our dealers said, well, I got a bunch of inventory I want to bring in, but I don't want to have to take that out. So what I want to do is like a one-week sale and try and liquidate a bunch of inventory then, and then put Restock. new stuff back in. Right, yeah, freshen it up. So I think you're going to see that regularly at the Heart of Ohio. Any given day, you're going to find sales going on now that's never been offered before. Yep. Yeah, good one. Any else going on this week? Yeah. I don't know. Well, Josh, we're talking about what... Uh, what he had done this week and what we might do is we'll let Jacob in on it so he knows ahead of time. That that percentage off on his could be a little higher than everyone else's. Ninety five percent off. Oh, uh, you can feel the love. Uh, I'm just glad Jake decided to well, give up that percentage off his property. And we, we appreciate <laughs> what he does. 
Uh, Coffee talk here, guys. You never know where it's going to go. Oh, goodness. Hey, if you're not watching our live Whatnot shows, we invite you over. Um, download the Whatnot app and follow at Burner Brother Antiques. This week, we are going to have a lot of Whatnot shows. Uh, after I get back from taking Soko to the airport, we're going to do one. Um, I think our jewelry, our Friday jewelry sale is going to change this week. Yeah, this week we're going to do it a different day because there's so much going on on Friday. So... Yeah. That's the plan still. See, right? Surprise yeah. has happened at so all we'll, the time. You never know. know about this yet. <laughs> I think we should hit for Thursday. Do we attach or it to our Wednesday sale? I don't know. Possibly. We'll figure it out though. We'll Possibly. figure it out and let you know. Maybe we'll attach it right to the Wednesday. When we, well, when we, what I want to do later today is schedule yeah. whatnot for the week. So uh, we'll have a bunch of shows scheduled coming up later today, uh, which you'll already they'll already be scheduled by the time you see this. So <laughs> we're, we're talking, yeah, no, yeah. but hopefully. you'll get to figure it out along the way. Like, <laughs> like that's those, what they did backwards. So that's what they did. <laughs> there we go. Uh, but there's no burners.com auction this week. The thousand lot Thursday sale is not happening this week. We've uh, skipped this week. Because Silk is going to be in Europe, and we decided to, uh, you know, just yeah, push through. Run without her. Put, I mean, just the, Lucas and Joe hadn't picked it up yet, you know. <laughs> no, we've got oh, so much going on. Oh, yeah. Today. They're going to hear that. Gonna be one of these days, Josh and I are going to walk in, and it's going to, we might come up missing. <laughs> <laughs> Lucas and Joe are going to put bags over our heads and drag us to the back and beat us. <laughs> They love the show the love around here. Uh, well, guys, uh, coffee talk. Let's do one more, one more round of questions. Uh, something interesting you bought this week, Jimmy. But, you know, to be honest with you, this week I was uh, – uh, yard sales happened for me, and I've loved them. And I, uh, I got a Jack in the Pulp this week. At a yard sale. At a yard sale. Fenton as well. A Fenton Jack in the Pulp at a yard sale this week. I Yeah, and I was su surprised and excited. All to, I mean, I felt like a little kid again. When you walk up and you're like, oh my goodness, there's one, there it is. And they're like, oh my goodness. I mean, it is, it is, it's exciting. It. And that's what we hope you're doing with the antiques. It's being excited and, and every looking for that. Everyone's looking for that little thrill or find or that little gem. And it can be a $10 gem have or a, a $50 gem. Yeah. It, it doesn't have to be that I found a million dollar piece at a yard sale. It, that's not usually going to happen. No. That's probably never going to happen. <laughs> but man, you find that that fifteen dollar gym, you're like, yeah. And then it was well, fun. I, I like that that adrenaline rush you get when you come up on a oh, good, yeah. something really fun or interesting or a good buy. It's it's, it's kind of like uh, uh, you know a lot, a lot of these guys want to do extreme sports so they get adrenaline. Yeah. Extreme antiquing brings <laughs> yeah, adrenaline to the Burner Brothers. It does. <laughs> well, no different than going through the mall. When you walk through our mall, your own mall, and people are coming and they, and you, they bring something up and they're excited about it. They're like, look what I found at the mall. And I'm oh, like, yeah. Yeah. Good yeah. for you. Same thing. Yeah. What about you, Josh? Any, any uh, buy of the week or something interesting you bought this week? Uh, yesterday, I bought mom a rain gauge. Oh, at the, at the mall? She cleaned out her flower beds and stuff, so I bought her a rain gauge. Dad's always mowing, so I figured he'll know how much water he got. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, what she's going to put in her flower bed. And then I got mom or Emily a. Oh, it's like a, um, it goes in the flower bed. It's, it's like a windmill, but they made it out of shovels. Oh, so, that's cool. Yeah. So it is really, really neat. And then I bought my mother-in-law a bird feeder. I bought them all at the antique center. So, so you, you now, I've seen the one that they're talking about with the shovels. And the, the, okay. Yeah. So there was oh, one yeah. left back there and I was like, I'm going to go buy that. That was Emily, sweet. my wife, she has a flower farm. So. She'll do all kinds of stuff. We were actually planting yesterday, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, you should say that. I mean, I, I, I got mom some flowers in the basket, too, and, because yesterday was Mother's Day. So we hope. We, we all bought our mom something, yeah. not just Josh. You know, <laughs> yeah. he's to, These guys did. Uh, yeah. I let them put their name on it. <laughs> we appreciate that. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, interesting things I bought this week. I don't know. There's been, I buy a lot every week, but um, it was the it fitting was, collection was fun. Fitting collection was fun. That was what was interesting about it is that we sold it in five hours. We bought yeah. it, packed it, hauled it, sold it. Yep, and, and uh, the whole thing gone in five hours. And we made a little bit of money. It wasn't. Yeah. It, we didn't. I mean, it didn't do incredibly great, but it wasn't extremely rare okay. fitting either. It was, but it was okay. And um, it helped the people out. They wanted it gone. They yeah. had other things they wanted to do. So, so that was a comment on the video that somebody made on that video we shot uh, where we, I was filming us getting it was that the noise in the background was kind of annoying or too loud. But they, you got to realize she had little kids. Yeah, there's kids. They were kids, actually yeah. watching their mo morning were watching cartoons. cartoons. Yeah, man. It was <laughs> awesome. We couldn't interrupt the yeah. morning cartoons because we were those videoing. days. Oh, yeah. Morning cartoons. Found your glasses. Soka found my glasses. <laughs> my glasses are in Soka's bag. I don't know how that happens. 
Um, so yeah, so that's why that video was a little bit a little bit loud. Or, you know, there was background noise in it. We were trying to be quiet on the camera, not to interrupt their cartoons. But uh, that worked out really well. That and, was cool. They were all curled up on the couch yeah. having breakfast. <laughs> yeah, it was nine o'clock in the morning or Saturday morning. These kids are like, oh, we're watching. Oh, let's watch some cartoons. Uh, anyways, that's what was caught myself sitting here watching. That's right. a good thing I went with you. I just sat on the couch. You know, what are you watching? <laughs> Roadrunner. <laughs> well, guys, this is Coffee Talk, uh, Burner Brother style. Uh, this is our second time doing this. Hopefully, you like it. Uh, we'll see if we come back next week or not. We're not sure yet. <laughs> I get booed off. We might get booed off. If you have questions, though, if you uh, ask them throughout the weekend, I don't. If I don't I'll mark the like button, or hit if he doesn't like, like them, if I don't like them. Uh, <laughs> if he doesn't, it's going to get answered. It's going to get answered in video. So uh, just keep that in mind too. Uh, we appreciate y'all. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, make tons of comments, ask questions. Uh, we'd love to hear more from you and uh, blessings to you guys out there. Uh, make sure you spend some time with your loved ones this week and we will see you tomorrow.